So I wasn't planning on doing any kind of reviews or reactions for the games at E3, but uh, there was, I mean, the, the whole, all the pref press conferences have been okay, nothing amazing. Um, some better than others, but there's a few games here and there that I quite like the look of. S Star Wars Battlefront 2 uh, actually looks like a full game now. You know, they're introducing a story mode and they're adding all the characters from all the movies. Uh, it looks incredible. Um, Wolfenstein 2. I love the first Wolfenstein, The New Order, and uh, this one looks even more nuts. Killing, you know, being able to kill clansmen and Nazis. And it uh, looks bonkers. So I like the look of that, I like the look of fucking God of War, the return of Kratos. Um, just this idea that um, Kratos, the, the Greek God of War, and he finds himself in the land of the Norse gods with his son, and they're not welcome there. And it looks great. I love that trailer, probably my favourite trailer in the whole of the um, E3 so far this year, but I, actually I would say it comes close to this. This is the best though. Spider-Man for the PlayStation 4. Now, this is by Insomniac Games and it's amazing that a game studio can get Spider-Man so right compared to what Marvel Studios is doing with fucking Spider-Man Homecoming. Now, there's no need for... I mean, I, from what it looks like, this is an older Spider-Man. He actually is a Spider-Man. And he's, his voice is great. The kind of movement they've got for him is fine. It's perfect. This action scene, he's swinging around the crane. And he's uh, kind of tying up the crane with his webbing. Why, why can we not see this in the movies? I don't understand this. I mean, Amazing Spider-Man 1 and 2 came close. With some, with some of the visuals and the, the action. And of course, Sam Raimi's Spider-Man. As much as I love it. I mean, well, actually, Spider-Man 2... And even Spider-Man 1 has some great action scenes. And even Spider-Man 3 has some great action scenes. But everything I've seen of Spider-Man Homecoming, it looks bland, predictable. You've got Spider-Man in high school for the third time in, what is it, 17 years? We've got the third Spider-Man uh, and, what is it, the sixth movie? And he's still in high school, and they've gone back here, they're making him younger, so he can get more stupid jokes in there for the millennials, his stupid fat friend that he's got. But here we have Insomniac giving us the Spider-Man that we deserve, and the one we need. You've got spe the special effect, the, the graphics, probably on par, with what you're seeing in Spider-Man Homecoming, but this is a video game, so I would say this gets a, a pass. I'm expecting a little bit more from my special effects in my movies. The music kind of reminds me of a little bit of Hans Zimmer, but a little bit of Danny Elfman. But in Spider-Man Homecoming, they're going with the 60s theme, and Michael Giacchino is reworking it with an orchestra. And, you know, there's no need for the high school stuff. There's no need for Iron Man. If you see the Iron Man, po if you see the Spider-Man Homecoming posters, three of them have Iron Man in them. And each one, each poster has the same Iron Man pose of him flying. It's the same image. I is fucking lazy. So if Marvel Studios doesn't care about, you know, putting some effort into the posters. How can I care for this movie? So this game looks amazing. I don't, I'm not sure about this villain, Mr. I've heard it's negative or something like that. Must be one of the more recent ones or 
um, a very obscure one because I've never seen them in the comics. And then you get the end little credit, well not a, like a, not a credit but a little addition at the end of the trailer where you see Miles Morales. They can they have even taken the the effort to put My Miles Morales into this game. So, I love this trailer. I love the look of it. I'll, I'll, I mean, comes out next year. And once again, I'm seeing more something. I'm seeing more interesting things in the Spider-Man game on the PlayStation than I am in Spider-Man Homecoming the movie. So I won't be watching the Homecoming as a big Spider-Man fan. Looks like a piece of shit. You saw I, I, if you've seen the. NBA Finals TV spots and it has you know as Spider for Spider Man Homecoming. It's just so bad. And Shorty's going Shorty is going to work on his review for Spider Man Homecoming, his rotten review. So stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah, so let me know in the comments below what you thought of this trailer and any of the other games that you saw at E3. Uh, click that like button if you've not already, subscribe, share. So until next time, this is Shekar, and I'll catch you later.